Does it seem like you're getting busier and busier each year? And that typically means more fast food eating, and that's not good. Hi, I'm Zanya Foco. In today's show, we're going to create our own fast food lane right here in our own home with healthy grab-and-go choices and use your crock pot to make fast, healthy dinners like beef stroganoff. First, we'll have to start today's pantry stocking lesson in the grocery store so we can find the healthiest granola and energy bars. In our everyday fitness segment, we'll make sure we don't get too busy to fit in exercise and get some great advice from Sherry on ways to activate the largest muscle in your body, your tush. Are you ready to fight heart disease, type two diabetes, and tackle obesity for the entire family? We've got the weapons you need. Granola bars, some of the most common quick fix foods to tuck into your coat pocket, your lunch box, or your briefcase. Now, let me ask you, when you think of a granola bar, do you often think of, hmm, healthier than a cookie? Well, I like to think that too. I'd like to think there's more fiber than in a cookie, maybe less fat than in a cookie, maybe less sugar than it's in a cookie. Remember that sodium is important for keeping our blood pressure in good control, but also to help our bones because the more sodium we eat, the more calcium we excrete. It's very important to keep sodium to a low roar for everyone in the family. What else goes in this dish is corn and beans and rice. And of course, the rice that we're using, I've already cooked up the rice. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to boil up true brown rice. And I mixed in some uh, wild rice, that dark black rice. And the rice I buy is basmati. Basmati, when you're cooking it, smells like popcorn. It's just fabulous. So we got all that in there. We're gonna just buzz this up. <laughs> Always remember to put the lid on. <laughs> remember the whole wheat pastry flour and the ground flaxseed that we added? That's fiber, right? And we need more fiber, right? And we've bumped the fiber up so much that over a year's time of making this change, you'll add 360 grams of fiber to your diet. Do you know what that looks like? That is the equivalent of 13 cups of wheat bran added to your diet each and every year. Woo, doggies! Now, that's what I call the power of just one good habit. Right. Okay, what's the next thing? All right, so the next one is called the triangle, and this stretches the hamstring in the frontal plane. So I'm gonna have you stand on this mat here, okay. and get your feet about three feet apart, toes pointed straight ahead, arms out to a T. You're gonna turn your right foot to the right, just like that, and then you're gonna hinge at your hip by reaching to the wall first. So reach to the wall, and then go down towards your big toe. That's it, and then look up towards your left hand. Good, and then you head back. Run, spin. You're just trying to make run, me dizzy. Spin. <laughs> well, those are just some ideas. Awesome. So you can just keep doing that, play some music, keep your heart right up. Who says you have to have special exercise equipment like a treadmill? No problem. We can get our heart rates up, keep it there for 30 minutes, three times a week, and what's going to happen is our blood pressure is going to fall lower than when it started at, lowering it by 10 points. From grocery shopping to cooking to fitness, I hope you can see there's power in just one good habit to help your family fight obesity, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Zanya Foco, and I'll have more great tips next time on Zanya's Health Bites. They have done studies, and they have found that people, instead of eating only beans one time a week, if they eat beans four times a week, they have a 19% reduced risk of heart attacks and strokes. 19% decreased chance. Whoa, is that pretty good? Whatever it takes, I'll do. Whatever it takes for you to help you grow strong, to help you hold on. Zanya's Health Bites is proudly sponsored by 